So when we first started uh, talking about doing the exhibition in the library, we were speaking a lot about the significance of libraries these days when people prefer to read things online or digitally on Kindles and iPads. And I really wanted to create a piece that would reinforce the tactile quality of public libraries where um, they're almost like museums where you can interact with the artifacts. When I first came in to um, look, go through the collections of the library, I came across this really beautiful book of poetry. And one of the poems was called Youth, and it sort of spoke of the fragility of youth and how it passes by so quickly. A lot of the poem is comparing youth to nature uh, and flowers. And um, I was sort of looking at different ways of how I could create large-scale flowers. So I, initially, I was looking at origami. But I'm not very good with paper folding. So um, I went about this technique, which basically f is folding paper and then opening it out. And I used different materials because I, I knew I wanted to use the space of this window. And I was thinking of how light would pass through paper, which is why I used these whites with just tints of color and different materials. Like there's satin and tissue paper with newsprint and sugar paper. And there's quite a bit happening and um, the poem was quite lyrical so I thought my it, it would look nice and add another dimension if I added the sheet music as part of the center of the flower. It's such a wonderful opportunity to have my work displayed in such a public space because even while I was setting up my installation I would constantly have people walk by and talk to me about my work and what I was inspired by. And in fact I had somebody request to put in a red and yellow flower because they thought I should celebrate my Indian roots, but <laughs> I haven't done that <laughs> because I think it would draw too much attention away from the other flowers which are quite muted, so it's been a great experience for me.